Hi, Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul. This time I went to an auction. This is my first auction that I've been to since I moved to California, which was a long time ago. Uh, I thought I would give this one a try. And I was ever hopeful when I got there. They were very nice and I went around and looked at all the neat stuff and I made notes in my catalog about what I'd be willing to pay for stuff. And then the auction started and after about 15 minutes I thought, I'm not going to buy anything here because everything was going for about four or five times what I would have been willing to pay for it. I mean, that's how bad it was. Uh, lots that I would have paid $20 for were going for $100. I just but I decided to stay and watch what things went for and hope that maybe as the evening went on and some people left that maybe the prices would go down. So I did eventually buy a couple of things, but for a lot more than I had planned. But I did it anyway. Educational experience. So the first lot I bought was this bag of pocket knives. I paid $50, and I think there are six knives in here. Um, however, they are pretty nice knives. I haven't uh, looked real closely at them, but uh, I think I'll do okay on those. I won't, I won't make a fortune, but I'll make some profit. One of the knives is kind of junky, but the others are good. Then the second thing I bought was this. Art Deco Naked Lady Flower Frog. You can see it's got the little holes where you put the flowers. I wasn't planning on bidding on this at all, but nobody was bidding on her. She was so pretty, and so I bid $30. Looking For a second I thought I saw a chip, but I don't. Um, she is in good condition. I have no idea what this is worth, but for $30 I will keep her if nobody wants her. I just thought it was beautiful. And then the third lot is where it got interesting because the very last lot of the evening was a box lot and there were a couple of things that had me thinking it was a pretty good lot and I made a note on my thing that I would pay $100 for it which was way higher than anything else I wanted to pay wanted to buy and when that lot came up the room had emptied out a lot so a lot of people were gone and the bidding stopped at $40. And so I went ahead and raised my card for $50, and I got it for $50. And I thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? $50 is a lot of money. But I think it turned out okay, because I didn't know what all was in there. And I'll tell you the bad news first. When I first previewed this box, this bowl was not broken. But... When, by the time it came up for auction, this bowl had broken. Somebody broke it and didn't fess up, which I think is just terrible. But I knew when I bid on it that this bowl was broken. But isn't it pretty? So sad. Um, I will use that for mosaic. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff in this box. So The second thing is another bowl. Here's the case that it comes in. You can see it's pretty old. It's got this base, which is nothing special. And then it's got this bowl, which is really pretty nice. It's very, very thin, thin, fine porcelain with gold. Not real gold, I'm sure, but it's just, it's really beautiful. And I'll have to do some research but it's, I don't know if you can see it, but the light comes through it. I, it's not cloisonne, it's something else, but it's kind of like cloisonne. Anyway, um, just really stunning. Um, got this hat. I tried it on my cat, she didn't like it very much. That's really like nothing. Okay. Um, I got this beer stein, which says a century of progress, World's Fair, 1933. Pretty cool, huh? And there are three of them. 
Two of them had really teeny tiny little chips on the naked lady handle, like really little. And one of them is not chipped. So, pretty cool. And I got this mustache cup. It says, um, the life of a fireman. And it is not marked. Have not researched that. Got this little carved jade, maybe? Buddha? Pretty nice. We'll have to do some research on that. I got this key. It looks like the kind that was on a, a to turn the gas on and off. I got this letter opener with a silver plate handle. I've sold a couple of these before in much worse condition, so. Then I got this bunch of lead soldiers. Well, at first I got this headless guy. And I'm not even sure this is the right head because I couldn't figure out how it would fit on. But I got these sort of Scottish dudes, I think they are. Little painted lead soldiers. They are marked, um, Hmm, I, I can't read what's on the bottom. It's really, really indistinct, but I'll have to figure it out. Anyway, they're sort of little um, Scottish dudes, maybe? I don't know. I don't know anything about lead soldiers. There you have it. There's four lead soldiers, not in perfect condition, and a hand doesn't go to anything. Very weird. Okay, got this lighter. Brand new, in the box, never used. It is a Hadson, Hadson lighter, made in Japan. I have no idea what the worth is on that, but I got seven of them, new in the box. If they're valuable, yay! If they're not, oh. Okay, I got this Windmaster lighter in the box, but it's Tri-Sales Company. I, I have my doubts that that's worth anything. This is pretty cool. Little bronze elephants. This is really old, look at the bottom. I just think these are adorable, really heavy. I've looked all over it, there's no mark. I got this, uh, I don't know if it's copper over brass container. It's got felt on the inside. And it says, Captain's Office SS Titanic. <laughs> Apparently, um, these were made as novelty items in the 1970s. There's a company that was around just for a couple of years that made a lot of metal novelty type items. And these actually, I found some similar things on, mostly their key fobs. I didn't see too many of the jars. But anyway, they sell for like $15. Got this little porcelain box. Oops, oh that's the hinge side. There you go. Um, it's not marked, but it's kind of cute. And I got this box which is, I think, silver plate. Be cool if it was really silver. It does have a mark on the bottom, right there. Right there. There's a lion. It's got some little numbers scratched into it and another number here. And it's got somebody's initials. Wood on the inside. Pretty old. I'd say that's probably 1930s or older. I got this, which I don't know what it is, but I think it might be a match striker. It's copper. It's screwed into something. Not sure. This is a very interesting... Oh, I was going to strike that word from my vocabulary. 
sort of a amber and yellow, big, thick, this is solid glass box. I, that's got to be worth something. It's in really good condition. It's not chipped or anything. But I have no idea what it is. If anybody knows, let me know. It's got like a something special that was kept in there. Uh, I got this Art Deco silver plate cigarette case. It has a, a place for personalization right there, but it hasn't been personalized. But I think that will clean up kind of nice. Got a pipe. And it says uh, something. Imported Briarwood. Something built. Custom built. I don't know anything about pipes. I got this big old knife. This might be something special. I'll have to do some research on that. It's not marked, but it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty old. And it's supposed to have two of these little tiny knives that go in here, and one's missing. It's got the leather and brass hilt, no, not hilt, scabbard, whatever. I do really well with knives, so we'll have to see. Got this gigantic ashtray. This is a uh, Wade PDM, made in England. And it's got a thing that says, truly a connoisseur cigar, Temple Hall Estates, blah, blah, blah. Nice. This is one of the cutest things, I think. This is a portable roulette game. It's got the instructions, it's got poker chips, and some dice that I think might be Bakelite, and cards. I don't know if those cards are complete. I do know a couple of the poker chips are missing, but cute. And this little thing is the roulette wheel, turns, spins. And is that it? I think that's it. All right, that was my first auction haul. I think that last box lot saved the day. If I can't make 50 bucks back on this stuff, I'm doing something wrong. All right, thanks. Most of this stuff will be for sale on Etsy and my shop, vintagedazzle.etsy.com. A few things may end up on eBay. And um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. A couple of items that I forgot to show you from my box lot. Um, these two vases. Don't know anything about them. This one is 